again once again man just dropping a quick little video on final fantasy 16 of course we've been playing this for a little minute now not too long but pretty deep into the story so i figure now is a good time for me to kind of start talking about some of the thoughts that i have so for today's video i'm going to talk about the intro otherwise known as the demo and why i thought it was such a great way to introduce whoever to the game for me it really reminded me of a uh, ghost of tsushima a lot of the same elements very compelling very emotionally charged intros you know what i mean and when you think about it it's really a testament to the powerful storytelling and the immersive world building that the devs over there at square enix have achieved they know how to get you into a game it was the same thing with seven remake even though seven remake for me kind of dragged on a little bit took a little bit longer but this game got me right into the mix from the beginning and i thought that was super dope now that leads us to a conversation about emotional that you really see this through the main character uh clive right clive rossfield when clive transforms into ifrit that is not only a pivotal moment of the game's demo the game's intro but that's a pivotal moment in the game because when he transforms it ain't just a physical change it's also an emotional psychological one it's all of that in the one so then from there i start theorizing all right clive's body was taken over had to be this this one clive's doing now at this point in the game i'm thinking about the hooded man the man with the hood or the burning demon because clive <laughs> clive went off that's probably the best way i could put it clive goes off but it's not clive doing it so then the game is now setting up at least for me this struggle for clive as far as control of his identity control of his self control of his ego those type of things and then i start thinking some more and i'm like wait okay i know the dog was there torgal did clive kind of transfer himself into torgal because even when you think about like the battle that happens towards the end of the prologue and you you looking at it through it's it's clive talking but it's clearly not his perspective because his perspective while he's talking seems more distant is more helpless as if he's watching the events from away from the battle when we know that he participated in the battle you see what i'm saying so with that narrative choice clearly they were setting up some type of emotional impact you got clive struggling clive confused Clive don't know what's going on, but he is directly involved in the conflict. It's super dope stuff, man. It was fire. Um, what else? Then from there, again, that starts taking me back to all right. So who is Clive? Why is Clive able to transfer his his consciousness? Why is somebody else able to make Clive do what he don't want to do? You know what I mean? Be ifrit. And what implications do these events have? on the rest of the game you see what i'm saying just a great way to just intro the story like get people engaged get people invested it was it was so well done that's one of the best even though right now you know what i mean i'm not gonna say this game of the year or nothing like that that is one of the best intros i have ever played in my life that intro that intro was fire man you got strong emotions from Clive seeing his brother Joshua just get mauled, obliterated, eviscerated, whatever word you want to use. You got that. And then the implications of, okay, all right, who's Clive? Is Clive the good guy? Is he the bad guy? And it makes you want to learn more about Clive's transformation, his development as a character. I'm probably going to end up doing a video once I'm done talking about Clive's character development. But if you have not played at least a demo, I would say go try the demo. Try the demo. Come back to this video. Tell me how you felt about it. All right. The demo is free. You ain't got to pay for that. Go grab that. Come back. Tell me how you felt about it. And I also suggest if you did beat the demo and now you have the full game, before you start the full game, go back and play the demo again. Do that. Go back and play the demo again because I think it's going to be able to reinitialize you into what's going on in the game. The first time I did it, I started with just, you know, the end of the demo onto the next part, which is super cool that it was in there. But low key, I had wished I went back and just did it all from the start 
and then moving on because you can kind of forget that emotional connection. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you did, hit that like button, hit the sub button. If you would like more videos like these, tell me what topics you would like me to discuss in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on the prologue in the comment section as well. Until then, my name is King Cartel. Be safe, be careful, wear a face mask. And I'll see you big head month. This is on the next one. Peace.